Hi, today I'm going to be talking about how to retrieve a wayward hydra sleeve. Now if you've done any field work at all in the past, odds are you've dropped something down the well and had to retrieve it. Traditional method of doing that is using a treble hook on the end of a string and trying to snag it and pull it up. Now we have our own wells here at the hydra sleeve uh, facility and what we do is a lot of testing out here and we've had our fair share drop off the end of the tethers that we've had to go in and retrieve and we've come up with a method that seems to be more reliable than the traditional method. I'm going to show you that today. What we use is called conduit fishing tape or fishing tool and it's used to run conduit for electrical, or not conduit, but electrical lines through conduits in houses and buildings. And what it consists of is a flexible steel tape, in this case stainless steel, on a reel, and it's about 120 feet long, this particular reel is. These are readily available at about any hardware store or through electrical supply shops and relatively inexpensive. This one happens to be made of stainless steel, but it wouldn't have to be. The uh, carbon steel will work fine. Now, the advantage of this over a traditional fishing method is at the end, what we have is a hook that we've just bent out. Traditionally this would have been bent around almost flush to hook onto the wire. We do is bend it out to about the inside diameter of a two inch well. Okay, And then the advantage of this is not only can you feel where you are in the well as you're feeding it down hole, you can also rotate it around and cause that hook to rotate around and actually grab onto the um, whatever it is you've got down there. Now in the case of a hydro sleeve, it's a flexible material, so it'll actually wrap itself around the hook, and pretty consistently you can catch them using this. So what I'm going to do starting off here is just take a standard two inch hydro sleeve and do something you would probably ne never do on purpose, but drop it down the well, okay? Now, to fish this out, what I do is unspool this and feed it down the hole, and this is the most time-consuming part of it. Again, this hook is bent so it fits just inside the two-inch well so it'll catch on something when I rotate it at the bottom. So, fishing is actually uh, better with two people, and I'm going to have Anthony help me out on this on the recovery process. But as we feed this down, you can actually feel when you hit the bottom of the well quite easily. This particular tape's 120 feet long, and uh, theoretically you could go down 120 feet in a two inch well. Now as you can tell we're on the bottom here. So what I'm going to do is rotate this and for some reason it seems about 10 times is about enough to catch something on there, we hope. Okay. Now, I'm going to have Anthony just walk this out real slowly. When you first start pulling up, though, you want to be the one actually feeding it up so you can feel if you've got it, and it does feel like we're hooked right now. So, you don't want to get too enthusiastic on the recovery speed, but as it's coming up the well, we're feeling good. The second person kind of keeps the tape off the ground. <laughs> So what you end up with is a sleeve basically wrapped around the hook on the end, but it is a fairly reliable method of pulling these out. So once again, thanks for watching. If you want to contact us, we can be contacted at info at or at 800-996-2225. Thank you.